What's up guys, Evans B here. So for this assignment, we're gonna do something a bit different that you can actually use outdoors and indoors. We're gonna do some backlight shots. What are those? Uh, they are specifically um, trying to portray a figure with a very strong light in the back. So how can we do this? The first way, if you're outdoors, is to use the sun to your advantage. So how would you do this? You simply have to place the sun, the subject, and yourself. So basically you sandwich your subject in between you and the sun. What does that create? It creates really uh, like an impressive back shot. It's really great for wide angle portraits. You don't need really flash to use this technique. And also it creates uh, maybe motive emotion. So let's say you have uh, like this photo, two people embracing, it creates a nice shadow and then you know what they're doing and you know that they're humans, but you don't necessarily see what they do. So it's kind of an interesting portrait to have in your mix of photography if ever you're in a studio or stuck with poor situation. So the second way to do this uh, using the same principles as with the outdoors but inside would be to actually simply lift your background. So there are mainly two ways I think you can do this is you can actually simply lit light your background make sure it's exposed properly then place your subject and shield them from the actual uh, lighting. So basically you don't want him to be light lit and you just want a shadow of himself. And then third, you place your camera, take your shot, and you're done. Or the second method is to actually place the strobe directly in behind your subject. So like that, you can create a rim, and then some light will bleed into your camera, and you can maybe see a bit of uh, either skin or eyes or details inside of it. Maybe use a reflector also if you want to do this. But really, the main technique is to have a light that is very strong in behind your subject, and then uh, placing your subject, and again yourself in front of your subject with the light in the back, again performing another sandwich to uh, perform a backlight shot. The advantages are many. Uh, if you have poor light situations, uh, it's really interesting to use. If you wanna have just more diverse shots in your portfolio, it's also very interesting to use because people actually love those shots. They look very majestic and they actually translate very well into prints, especially if you use wide angle portraits. They're simple also. You don't need uh, strobes or anything. You can actually do it without anything, especially if you're outdoors. If you're a natural light shooter, this actually technique should be really, really useful to you because you can use it at almost any sock. And the, it's a pretty simple technique, but pretty powerful enough that I keep it in my tool belt. Let's say you're shooting a wedding. I always, always have a backlit shot because it just looks great. So again, these are tools that you can use into your arsenal of uh, techniques if you're in situations that are not working or uh, if you just want more diversity. So for this assignment for Master Delight, you can actually share it within the group. Um, I'm going to be a bit more flexible this time. I'm going to allow the old work to be posted because I want more stuff to be shown and more stuff to be seen. So please share your old work if you want to. But I highly suggest you trying it out. Uh, it's a new technique. If it's new for you, again, just make sure you basically expose to the background. You don't put any light in front of your subject and then you're standing in front of your subject take a picture. It's really great for wide angle portrait. It's really great for also uh, if you wanna have a couple or if you have an element that you wanna, it's a very evident shape, let's say. Terrible example, but let's say you have a gun and a gun clearly shows in the backlight what it is, so you can see it. Uh, it, it creates, it sends a message without being maybe too in your face. Um, these are the main advantages, so I think uh, creating new work with new ideas that you have, might have and just trying just try it once you can use it in your home There's no don't that much gear to do it and it's easily achievable And it requires less Photoshop because you only have your background to worry about not your subject So again, this is it for this assignment again This assignment is valid from April 1st until the end of the month if you have any questions Please head over to Master Light Lighting Simon Group on Facebook. If you do want to join, just make sure you answer the questions so I can see your request first. That's it, guys. Hope you're having have a great time. Uh, again, summer is coming soon, and there's a lot of content coming up for this summer specifically. We're going to cover some subjects that I've been itching to do, but I didn't have a chance because the season was not appropriate for those type of shoots. But that's it. Hope you're doing well. I'll catch you in the Facebook group and on YouTube. If you like this, please subscribe and like and whatever you need to do. Cheers and happy shooting.